What's up, guys? Bstanko6, another one of my little videos here. This one's going out to one of my YouTube subscribers, Vincity82. I appreciate your uh, question. Um, he's asking about hunting by sound for Silent Hunter 3. Is it still the same for Silent Hunter 5? Uh, the Wolves of Steel. No, it's not. There are just a few minor things that um, Twos has that changes things. Okay, in Silent Hunter 3, my hunting by sound 1 and 2, I talk about all the triggers that are there uh, that allow you to determine where exactly the ships are. They're kind of like cheats, if you will, but you know the computer's giving it to you, so why not use it? Um, one cheat is over here. And that's the 7.5 kilometer trigger. Basically, in Silent Hunter 3, if the ship got within 7.5 kilometers, you could determine if it's a merchant or a warship. So by watching that little uh, that little indicator at your hydrophone station would tell you, oh, well, they're at about 7.5 kilometers at least. All right, it's a little bit of a cheat. But anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. The inner ring here represented your hydrophone guy, no matter how much um, you update them or give them awards or give them special things, he can only hear 20 kilometers. I still use that in the Wolves of Steel because, and I'll explain why, um, 34 kilometers up here is you, the player, your ability to hear out. If you're on the hydrophone yourself, you can hear up to 34 kilometers. So if you hear that faint little sound, it's, it's roughly 34 kilometers in whatever direction you're hearing it, okay? All right. Uh, the little red dot here in the center, that's your U-boat. This is a terrible drawing, but it's just a quick, it's supposed to be a quick video. Anyway, I still go by my hunting by sound for twos, and it works. Okay, there's guys out there that are looking for accuracy, right? They want that pinpoint bullseye accuracy. Um, some guys like to do that trick shot where they don't even look at the periscope. They just launch a torpedo and hit it without even looking, which is fine. But if you know me, that's not what I do. I'm all about immersion. So if you're doing immersion playing like I do, the U-Boat Commander's Handbook, the regulations, you could look up even the, uh, the um, you know, their own actual regulations from the 40s. All right. You're supposed to use sight, sound, everything, all your exposure, everything that you have at your, you know, your, um, your disposal to find these ships. So my objective basically is to... Oh, here, I'll show you. Here, let's, let's get rid of all this junk here. Okay, so if my, if my submarine's here, and I'm hearing this sound over here, and over time it's over here, it's, I know it's getting closer, so I take a guess at the speed it's going at, so I, I kind of determine roughly it, it's kind of going this direction, right? That's all I'm looking for. I don't care how actual far away it is. I don't care exactly what its AOB is when I'm listening by sound. My objective is to get into a position where I can see with my sight the boat. The U-boat was designed to be on the surface. It is written that way. It was designed that way. It was not meant to be the submarine like you play in Cold Waters or in all the other games, which I love them all. Dangerous Waters, all of them. They're all great. But you were supposed to be on the surface. Your objective was to find it by sight. These torpedoes were very expensive. It was not a game. It was meant to be something that you, you, they wanted an ensure sinking. So you know, if you're looking to do things, you know, under the water, you know, and, and you got your little periscope or, or never even use a periscope, that's not what the U-boat was designed for. So I hope this helps. I still use a 20 kilometer. Uh, so if Benno hears something, it's at least 20 kilometers away. And if I listen to it, it's 34 kilometers. Now, if there's anybody out there that can disprove it or give me some more information, I'd appreciate that. Other than that, though, I, I still use the same thing I did in my Silent Hunter 3 videos. I hope this helps, guys.